Good day, my dear STEM students. For today, we'll be discussing all about uh, the mathematical concept of boiling point elevation. This is a one, one example of negative property. So what is boiling point elevation? When will a pure liquid substance boil? We all know that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, but that kind of definition is uh, incomplete when describing the boiling point of a particular substance. We say that the boiling point of a liquid is a temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid is equal to the external pressure or the atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of the liquid. When the liquid boils at one atmospheric pressure, we can say that it is the normal boiling point of the liquid. Okay, so look at the illustration uh, below. So at sea level on Earth's crust, the atmospheric pressure is 180 m. Okay, but as you go higher, you can see that the atmospheric pressure uh, less m its value. So at higher altitude, there is less atmospheric pressure compared at lower altitude. That is why uh, cooking food at higher altitude is takes much longer to cook food at higher altitude compared to lower altitude because at higher altitude, the vapor pressure and the atmospheric pressure, mabilis sila mag-equal. So mabilis kumulo ang tubig pero hindi siya ganun kainit compare at lower altitude. At lower altitude, mabilis magluto ng, uh, ng food. Cooking food is very easy because uh, the substance boils at a much higher temperature kasi matagal mag-equal ang atmospheric pressure and vapor pressure of that particular substance at lower altitude. Okay, boiling point elevation, the mathematical equation. We have here two types of solution, the electrolyte solution, where in electrolyte solution are solutions that conducts electricity due to the presence of ions in the solution, while non-electrolyte solution, uh, do, these are solutions that do not conduct electricity because there is no ions present, okay? So what are the different, let us name one by one the different variables in the given equation. Delta TV, that is the change in boiling temperature or the boiling point elevation, that is the symbol. Uh, K sub B is equal to the molal boiling point constant. This molal boiling point constant are, is readily available at the back of any chemistry book, textbook. So hindi niyan kinu-compute, titignan niyo na lang yung value. And then small letter M, uh, pertains to the concentration in molality. Then I is the Van Hoek factor. The Van Hoek factor. Okay. So as you can see, if you're going to compare the equation, the mathematical equation in solving for the boiling point elevation, the only difference is uh, at in, in electrolyte solution, uh, the Van Hoek factor is being considered. Okay. In the chemical and in the mathematical equation, while in the non-electrolyte solution, so it is no longer written. <clears throat> what is the Van Hoek factor? The Van Hoek factor is mathematically expressed as the actual number of particles in a solution after dissociation. Big sabiin pag sinabi natin dissociation, yun yung when you uh, have a particular pure substance, it's solid liquid, a uh, solid substance, and then you add solvent to it. Uh, the, that particular substance uh, completely disappears or completely dissolves uh, in that particular solvent. So, it is going to dissociate into its component ions, then divided by the number of formula units initially dissolved in the solution. Okay. So, in a non-electrolyte solution, the I value should always be 1. Okay, so kaya hindi na siya sinusulat dun sa given equation, dun sa mathematical equation ng uh, boiling point elevation. While in the sodium chloride, I should be 2 or the Van Hoek factor is 2. The value is 2. In calcium chloride, the value is 3. Paano malalaman yun? Do you have to compute for that? So there is an easy way if you know the, the different kinds of the different solubility rules if the substance dissolves or do not dissolve in water. For example, sodium chloride, we all know that sodium chloride in simple table salt uh, completely dissolves in water. So as you can see, when sodium chloride dissolves in water, it dissociates, dissociates into its component ions, namely sodium ion and chloride ion. So this particular solution is said to be electrolyte because there is ions present. So if you're going to identify the Van Hoek factor, the Van Hoek factor of sodium chloride or NaCl is 2. Okay? 
yeah i the i value should be two so you can easily uh, identify that just by simply looking at the chemical formula as you can see sodium is one and then chloride is one or chlorine so the mantle factor is two okay same principle is being applied in other ionic compounds that is very soluble in water let's say for example potassium hydroxide when you add water to potassium hydroxide it completely dissociates into its component ions potassium ion and hydroxide ion while in lithium hydroxide if you add water to lithium hydroxide lithium hydroxide is very soluble in water so it dissociates into lithium ion and hydroxide ion so if you're going to identify the Van Tau factor of lithium hydroxide the mantle factor of lithium hydroxide is 2, potassium ion and hydroxide ion. While in lithium hydroxide, uh, the mantle factor is also 2. But in a uh, molecular compound, let's say for example, uh, sugar, sugar dissolves in water, but the solution is non-electrolyte. So sugar dissolves in individual sugar molecules. So wala kayong makikitang ions. That is why non-electrolyte solution, the Van Hoff factor is always 1. Okay. <clears throat> Next, let us have some uh, worded problem. Calculate the boiling point of a solution made from 20 grams calcium chloride in 100 grams of water. The molal boiling point of water is 0 0.512 degrees Celsius per molality. Okay. So as you can see, our solute is calcium chloride. Calcium chloride is ionic compound that is very soluble in water. Therefore, the resulting solution would be an electrolyte solution. Okay, so these are given. Mass of the solute is 20 grams calcium chloride. Mass of the solution is equal to 100 grams of water. And then our uh, molal boiling point constant of water is equal to 0 0.512 degrees Celsius per molality and our Van Hoff factor is 3. So as you can see, so the, solu the resulting solution is electrolyte. So if this uh, particular compound dissociates into its component ions, you can see that there is one calcium ion and then two chloride ion. Okay, so the Van Hoff factor is 3. Then you have to solve for the number of moles of solvent and the molality okay, that is the first step step since we do not have the number of moles we have to compute for the number of moles first so the number of moles is equal to 20 grams calcium chloride divided by 110 gram per mole this is the molar mass of calcium chloride cancel the unit and then you will get 0 0.18 mole and then solve for the kilogram of sol solvent since this is molality all mass units should be converted to kilogram. Always convert the mass unit to, uh, to kilogram when you compute for the molal concentration of a particular uh, solution. Okay, so for every 100 grams, 100 grams is the mass of the solution. Then convert it to kilogram. Okay, so your answer is 0 0.1 kilogram. And then you can now solve for the molality. So, the molar concentration is equal to the moles of solute divided by the kilogram of solvent. So, molality is equal to 1.8 molal or 1.8 mole kilogram. And then, the next step is to solve for the uh, boiling point elevation of the solution. Okay. So, your boiling point elevation is equal to 3. 3 is the Van Hoff factor since calcium chloride has 3. Uh, ions present when it dissociates in the given solvent multiplied by the molar boiling point uh, constant of water then multiply it in the value of molality cancel the unit then you will get a boiling point elevation of 2.76 degrees Celsius. This is the increase in boiling point. So to find the boiling point elevation, this is the formula. So the boiling point elevation is equal to, so your uh, initial, uh, the, bol uh, the normal, this is the normal boiling point of water of your solvent plus your computed uh, boiling point elevation 
So the the boiling point of that solution is 102.76 degrees Celsius. Okay, next, determine the boiling point and uh, boiling point elevation of a solution made from 79 grams sucrose. This is table sugar. Uh, with chemical formula C12H22O11 in 100 grams of water. The boiling point, uh, the molar boiling point of water is 0 0.512 degrees Celsius per molality. Okay, since sucrose uh, is a molecular compound and a non electrolyte solution, so the Van't Hoff factor is 1. Okay, so same step. I compute for the number of moles. So, 79 grams divided by 342 gram per mole. 342 gram is the molar mass of sucrose. Okay? And cancel the grams and you will get the mole value of 0 0.23 mole. Then, solve for the kilogram of solvent. You have 0 0.1 kilogram, 100 divided by 1,000. Okay? And then, you can now solve for the molality. Moles of solute divided by... A kilogram of solvent, you will get 2.3 molal or 2.3 mole kilogram. Then solve for the boiling point elevation. Okay, this 0 0.512 degrees uh, per Celsius per molality times 2.3 molal. Cancel the unit of molality. So as you can see, wala na dito yung Van't Hoff factor since our solution is a non our solute is a non electrolyte. Uh, solute. So, uh, hindi na natin nilagay yung 1 kasi understood naman pag minultiply nyo pa rin, you, you, can get, you will get the same value. Okay, so your boiling point elevation of the solution is 1.18 degrees Celsius. Okay, so 100 plus 1.18 degrees Celsius is equal to 101.18 degrees Celsius. And then take note, adding solute will increase the boiling point it will also increase the osmotic pressure of the solution, decrease the vapor pressure, and decrease the freezing point upon adding solute. Okay, so if you're, uh, you have any question, just leave your question in our Google Classroom. Uh, stay at home and then stay safe. Thank you.